Design first, refine later. That's the mindset which will make you fall in love with Blender. In this video, I'm gonna show you my workflow for car design in Blender. What I mean by design first. Design is a creative process and many people mix it up with finalizing your design already in 3D. In today's workflow, you don't sketch and then do Photoshop and then finalize it in 3D anymore. It's all mixed. At least that's what I believe it should be. There's no more hard division between, okay, sketch phase is done, now the digital sketch, Photoshop or AI done, and then 3D done. It's not like that anymore. We also design in 3D while sketching over the 3D, then maybe put it on AI for generating different ideas, then come back to 3D and refine it further. And that's why I approach Blender as a creative tool rather than just a finalization or visualization tool. So at the beginning, when I'm putting my sketch into 3D, I don't think about all the details. If you are new to Blender, and if you watch some tutorials about how to model existing cars, it is totally different than modeling your own ideas. Because on an existing car you have the blueprints, or on a finished design you have the blueprints, reference images, so you can check each detail and you can be very correct from the beginning of the modeling phase. But when it's your own sketch, it's not even exactly following the package most probably, because the creative sketches are a bit more exaggerated proportions, it's not accurate from every angle. So when you are putting together these ideas in 3D, it is important to be flexible. So my workflow in Blender, this is from my beginner's course, the 911. This is the end result. But the starting point was a big volume here. At this stage, I liked the proportions. I was quite happy with how it is going because it takes, I don't know, maybe an hour or so to put this volume together like that and what I focus is like the rear muscles, the wheel arch area, the overall silhouette of the car and also the surfacing but not in a very detailed way just to see the proportions to put the volumes of my sketch in 3D. It was fine but then on the next step I start to put the wheels and the moment I put the wheels my whole perception changed now it was like looking totally wrong. If you look at them next to each other I think the volumes are same but the wheels changed everything. Now the wheels look very small. The wheel arches look actually, wheel house look so small and the proportions felt totally off on this version. So if I was already focusing on my door shot lines and so on at the beginning, it would be not useful or not helpful to me at all. That's why I start with a quite minimal amount of vertices with the simple forms, simple surfaces. So this way on this stage, when I want to change the proportions, it's very easy to do. I put a bigger wheels and more like a sketchy type of rims here. And of course there were a couple of steps in between. I'm not going to all the details, but changing the proportions from this one to this one was quite easy. I just stretched some proportions, made the wheelhouses bigger, make the wheels bigger, make the car a little bit longer as well. And of course I changed the volumes accordingly to see the car from different angles with the correct proportions. So already here, everything looks different. Even if it's the same model, like if I can show you the topology, you can see it's more or less the same topology, S similar amount of vertices, of course the detailed areas have more vertices. But as you see, it's not remodeling the whole thing, it's more like being able to stretch things around to get the correct feeling from different angles for the same design. That's why I didn't put the headlights at the beginning, that's why I put, didn't put any details. Once the proportions are correct, the volumes are correct, I started to add those details. And still, there's no shot lines or anything, as you see, it's more like a sculpture. That's how we approach the car design, right? You focus on the, the silhouette, the proportions, and then the surfaces and the details. So at this stage, we have the surfaces, the volumes, and then it is time to add details. So on the final version, it is totally the same. We can see the topology, amount of vertices. Of course, there are some techniques to keep the surfaces in a good way while adding the shot lines. But other than that, overall, the volume is the same and the whole perception changed. You can see the comparison here. So it is very important mindset shift. If I was already trying to add these shot lines at the beginning and then trying to build the volumes around the details of the car, it would be totally complicated and confusing workflow. Even at this stage, like from coming to this second car to the third one, I take screenshots, put them on Photoshop and sketch over so mixing still the digital sketching with the 3D modeling and then putting these changes in 3D to the model. This car is from my Blender for Car Design beginners course where we start learning Blender from zero, downloading the software and coming to this level, being confident to put your own ideas in 3D in less than 9 hours. Because I hate boring courses and your time is valuable, my time is valuable, so 
directly to the points, focused on car design. As I said, it's also about the mindset. It's way different than focusing on the blueprints or existing cars. So I'm also talking about this type of approach. And I have hundreds of positive feedback on the course. So I'm very confident. It is updated a couple months ago. So if you are new, I think you would benefit a lot from it. But even if you are confident with Blender and if you are struggling to open Blender sometimes, you know, this resistance of starting a new project, it will take time, you, you might feel frustrated. And this mindset of being loose, like the sketching itself, making a quick thumbnail doodle is easier than trying to make a realistic illustration of a car, right? So the same thing is for Blender. The whole idea of this video is to get more loose and creative with Blender and then refine it step by step. I'm curious if you already approach like me or if you are perfectionist since the beginning when you open Blender. Let me know in the comments and see you in the next video.